Beneath the white wrapping on this freighter is a piece of engineering history. Here in Chiburain on the Danish west coast, for the first time ever a superconducting generator is about to be installed in a functioning full-scale wind turbine. Envision Energy's 3.6 megawatt twin blade machine. Now we're replacing the, uh, the old, the existing permanent magnet generator with this new superconducting generator. Envision is one of the partners in the EcoSwing Superconductor Consortium, supported by a grant from the European Commission. The prototype generator is a complex piece of engineering which will operate at temperatures around minus 240 degrees. We have a very powerful magnet there that uh, we can uh, regulate with how much current we put through it and it's superconducting. Therefore we can put a massive amount of current through and have a really big field and we can make a very uh, robust, uh, very compact generator. Just how compact is clear when you look under the identical covers of the original generator and its superconducting successor. First, the old conventional generator. You, you can see the distance from the cover to, um, to the outer diameter of uh, the generator here. And if we go to uh, this one, you can see, well, I can't, can't even reach it. So this is actually uh, what you can see, the big difference between the two. The process which is reaching its culmination here in Tuburant has been a Europe-wide effort involving production of superconducting tape at Tiva in Munich, testing of the production coils at the University of Twente in the Netherlands, building rotor and stator at Jumont in France, and performing ground tests at the Ives Diner Lab in Bremerhaven. The business case is quite clear. Superconductors, they can carry large amounts of uh, current in a very compact, in a very power-dense manner. And that's an interesting proposition if you want to build compact, lightweight and low-cost generators. Right now the light eco-swing generator is getting ready for its first taste of rough North Sea wind, the latest example of disruption within the energy industry. I think that superconducting generators will uh, move the boundaries of how we design uh, electric drives and by having this in, the, in a wind turbine we can prove that this technology is ready and it's mature and that will push the thinking around how to make electrical machines into new directions. 